thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I thought I would just do a journal flip through and just kind of a show and tell. So this is an old ledger book. It is an antique ledger book that I got at a yard sale. It's got the little button that you push to release these and then you would release these and it would have ledger pages in it. But I took the ledger pages out and I've added art journal pages to it. And I'm not sure if I want to do anything to the cover or not. Um, give me your opinions in the comments of whether or not you think the cover should be just left plain like it is just in its vintage state with the gold corners and leather trim or should it be decorated with something else. Just give me your opinion on that. So this is a collection of all different things. Um, several years ago I participated in Mermay uh, M-A-Y mermaid, which is for the month of May, you draw a mermaid every day of the month of May. Um, and I had them just in a little sketchbook that was just a spiral bound sketchbook and I, I wanted to do something with them. So they've been uh, matted and put into this book. It's also just other little things that I've created. Uh, I did cover the inside with some material. This is cotton material that had seashells on it. And so here's just some of the fun things that are in here and I'll read you uh, what it says like on this page this is a poem do mermaids dream of course they do although I think their dreams are few because it must be hard to sleep on a coral bed 40 fathoms deep that is a poem by Kay Hawthorne so I just thought that was really fun these images mermaid images are rubber stamps that I've had for about 30 plus years um, this image here is new. I just made that digital set for the Julie Nutting stamps. I did add a face to this one and I thought she just made a nice, um, a nice doll to put into my book. On this page, this is just a watercolored simple background and it says, I'm tired of adulting. I think I'll become a mermaid and it is mermaid rubber stamps fish rubber stamps a shark some sea coral that's all rubber stamped images that have just been layered a turtle these mermaid stamps are older than old probably from the end of the 80s to early 90s and this one comes out write your secrets in the sand trust them with a mermaid and that's just done on watercolored paper. And then this was one of my mermaids that I drew for Mermay. And I trimmed her out and put her onto the blue paper. And then just made this as kind of a card. And then this one, I'm very busy being a mermaid, so unless it involves sand, sea, and sunshine, I'm unavailable today and maybe tomorrow. And this was a paper doll that I had made uh, back when I was making paper dolls and putting them into journals or selling the paper dolls. And she's got a really fun scuba mask, vintage scuba mask on her that's got plastic, so it's kind of three-dimensional, some seaweed in her hair, some seashells for a top, a little plastic flat back sand dollar. So that's just really fun. And for some reason, that particular mermaid uh, paper doll didn't sell. So she found a place in my mermaid book. This is a coloring book page. And I did it in Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 and, water, and uh, colored pencils. So this just came out of a mermaid coloring book. I love that. That was so much fun to color. And here's one of my mermaid, mermaid drawings. Just a mermaid in the seaweed holding a shell. Um, this one is a digital that I have available in the Etsy shop for purchase that I drew. That's a digital. Um, as a mermaid, your day is filled with adventure. Today I spent the day collecting seashells, soaking up the sun, on the surface of the waves, swimming with a pot of dolphins, looking, looking for pearls in clamshells, practicing my backflips, searching for sunken ships, racing a school of fish, and watching a giant basking whale eat plankton and singing. So those are things I did today as a mermaid. 
And that is another mermaid drawing, and that one was done um, with Karen Dosh Neo Color 2. I've backed them onto scrapbook paper, so that was scrapbook paper with um, like fish scales. Same with this fish scale paper. This was a mermaid mermaid drawing that I did, and that is just in pencil. And then I uh, outlined it in some pen. I love this one. I love this one. So this one is a mermaid drawing that I did, and it's kind of a combination of collage and drawings that I created. Some uh, fibers for the seaweed, a picture out of National Geographic of divers, the tail coming around over the top of the back page. I just love that one. That's one of my favorites. This one was a mermaid drawing. When you feel like you're sinking, swim. That was done in um, Tombow markers, Tombow dual brush markers, and uh, Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 and colored pencil. This is a mermaid drawing I did. I love her. She's so cute. And I put the title, I'm in search of the largest pearl. Uh, she disliked the story of her life, so she began a new one as a mermaid. And that is watercolors. Actually, no, that's colored pencil on, on um, craft paper. And then I um, did drips and so made the drips behind it. I love drawing octopus and I love this mermaid drawing. This was a mermaid one. And I did this one in Neo Color 2 and Tombow brush pens, uh, Pit Artist pens by Faber Castell, colored pencils. I love that. And this says, I have a dream I am a mermaid, or, or am I a mermaid dreaming that I am me? These are two of my mermaid drawings. I think these oldies but goodies are all on my Instagram because it's been quite a while since I did them. I like this one. She's got an earring that is a seahorse. There's a little um, clownfish in an anemone, an urchin. There's some tentacles from an octopus. I love that. I like how it did Zentangle hair on this one. And this one, there's a, a ship in the background and a mermaid sitting on a beach. This flips open and I put some fun facts about mermaids off the internet. And then on the flip down, there's another one of my drawings. I was just trying to find ways of incorporating all those mermaid drawings into the book. So I did a flip out. This one is fun. This is all done in um, pen and ink. This is just pen and ink. I love that mermaid. That was really fun. And then I rubber stamped all these different um, elements just in black ink around it. I like that black and white. And this one is colored pencil on craft paper. And some fun background paper, scrapbooking paper. This was fun. This was um, done all in watercolor and then I added some uh, gesso, really uh, chunky gesso to make the waves look realistic. I don't think you can see that on camera, but that was watercolor painted. And I typed, um, let's see, a mermaid once told me, do what makes your soul happy. I will be at the beach with my art supplies. The background is also watercolor painted. And there's this one with the flip open. Be a mermaid and make waves. There's this mermaid drawing and her tail is all mandalas. And then I did this drawing of a mermaid riding on a dragonfly. 
and I just trimmed it out. I just fussy cut it out and added it to this, and I watercolored the background. I just thought this was a fun way of using my mermaid drawings. This is a mermaid paper doll that I got from the internet, and it has movable arms and legs, and then I just added a lot of textured details to it, fibers and things, and it's got... Um, it's got chunky glitter on it to make her tail very sparkly and the tail moves so you can move the the pieces actually i think i tacked it down in place but and then i used some dimensional k and company fish on this this was a fun thing to do um this is taking watercolor paint and this is watercolor paper, heavy duty watercolor paper. And you basically just wet your paper and you drop in the watercolors and then you just kind of let them bleed out and do their own thing. And when it's completely dry, you take a black pen, waterproof pen, and doodle. And when I did it, it looked like things like jellyfish and undersea things growing. I added a little clamshell at the bottom. So all that doodling to me, or oh, a little um, seahorse doodling just came to life and looked underwater. So I thought that was a great place to put this paper doll. This was the digital that I just did for the Julie Nutting paper doll altered book. And I added her. I put one of the elements in her hair and added an extra starfish. And I did do a face on her and put her in this book because I just thought she would go really well with that drawing to finish it off. So that's my mermaid art journal made from an old vintage ledger book. So uh, tell me what you think and whether or not you think I should decorate this cover or leave it alone. So I hope you're having fun making art today. I love doing mermaids and it was fun to put them into a book where I can actually have it sitting on the coffee table and look at it from time to time. So um, this was pretty fun too, finding a vintage ledger book to put it all into. So just something fun and different to try. I hope you go make art because art soothes the heart. And thanks for stopping by and watching my flip through. Have a great day.